Hey there guys, Professor Chum coming here, and uh, basically what I've decided I'm going to do is, for the moment, I'm going to start up um, a series of Scrap Mechanics videos. Now, I've seen a lot of videos with the basic cars and your basic sort of things, but what I'm going to try and do is go into maybe a little more, more depth, some slightly more intricate things such as machinery. Um, but f just for this video today, I am going to start up on something that's slightly more basic, but it will becoming or become more useful as the game goes on. Um, I'm also going to be doing builds of things that follow up to this, um, such as lifting machinery. Um, but for today, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to do a basic video starting out of how to do a conveyor system. Um, the concept's relatively simple. But what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to make it so that we have, for example, lifting barriers inside that. So as a box approaches, a barrier will lift um, and then it will close behind the barrier. So if you guys have got anything that you would like me to build specifically or that you would be interested in seeing, just leave a message down in the comments box and um, I'll see if I can build that for you. But let's get started. So it's relatively simple. What we're going to do, we're going to start off with metal block. We have it selected. But build yourself, obviously, a base for the rollers. We're going to make this one as far length as we can. And then what we're going to do is... I like to sort of hide my things. I use electric rings for this. You don't have to. You can use petrol if you like. But I like to sort of hide mine. So each motor, as you know, can power five bearings. So you're going to need quite a few, depending on the amount of, of rollers you have. As you can see on this one, it's going to be quite a few. So let's mix uh, so we'll do is we'll stick a couple of things down. Right, I would advise obviously setting these motors up before obviously you seal them in. So I'm going to just set them. You want to build yourself a template. We can start moving things from the barriers as we go. Very simple system. So we're now going to attach rollers to the bag. So there's the basic layout for your conveyor. You've got your conveyor. It's all laid out. It's all on its bearings. When we switch that on, they're all going to run. Like I said, I've already connected the engines up. I've turned the speeds up. So what we're going to do now is seal it off a bit. But we're going to add a little something else. Again, in this for this this video demonstration, it it, ha it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Um, but for later on, when there's more things implemented into the game, um, there it, it could become quite useful. Oh, as well, the uh, so what we're going to do now is we are going to. Put What these are going to do is we're going to create a barrier that drops down, prevents things from moving across. And we're going to do this by installing another section. 
we'll make these outwards so you can see them working. And then we're going to need to think how many long things do I? I'm not 100% sure how long these are. But we'll just we'll do this one. Right, as we don't want to press these switches ourselves, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install a sensor. Now this sensor, what I'm going to do is when the box goes in front of the back, it's going to lift the barrier up for us. So it'll be a fully automated system and that it doesn't require us to do anything for it. So it works. So as you can see, Picking up this block. So if I delete this, there you go. So it's now it's it's not picking anything up. So when the box rolls in front, it's gonna break the beam. Just put a controller in place. We're gonna need an individual controller for each one. So we'll put those up. So we took that to that and that broken. So what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to make this go positive 90 degrees, which will open it up into the sky. So if we go positive 90, yeah. same thing on this side. There we go. Okay, so as you see now, when you walk in front of the beam, that's going to open up, away from the beam, it's going to close. So like I say, our rollers are now set up. Apart from the first one, for some reason, the first to go on here. Back to you guys when I fix this. Okay, so we're back. I've managed to fix it. Uh, that was a simple bug. I didn't connect to the block, and that's why it's just that one spinning. So let's try that again, shall we? So what we're going to do this time is we're going to place the box onto the paper. You have to connect them like this at the moment. It's annoying, but when I do that, that's obviously pretty moving. Let's give it a try, shall we? That seemed to go wrong. So, again, we will, uh, I will come back to you when I've fixed this. And I'm back guys, and the issue we had there was where the engine speed or the, the power was not going fast enough. As soon as the box basically hit the barrier, it was not moving underneath the barrier quick enough before it closed again. Hence why you saw the box glitch out. So what I've done is I have picked the speed of the rollers up, and we'll see how this goes. I've also built a little surprise at the end, which is this little contraption here. But uh, as you'll see, we'll see what happens when we get there, if, if we get there. So, let's see how it goes. <laughs> well, that bit didn't work out quite as well as I planned. But there you go, guys. That's basically your first very simple step just to building a conveyor belt with a... Um, a building system. I think it'd be nice in the future if we were to see things like times. Um, this would be so obviously we could make various times and we could make boxes move in different segments. Um, but uh, we will see how it goes. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if, you, if there's anything you'd like me to build, leave it down in the comments and I will see if I can build it for you. But uh, peace out, guys, and um, Professor Charm out.